And I just want to say something to mum and dad on this subject, now that you've raised it, to the mums and dads. Is that all right? Yes. Um, just something I want to say generally about anger. How do you, a lot of people say to me quite often, um, they say, you know, they ask me about their emotions and, and I say, well, actually, you're quite angry. And they say, no, no, I don't feel angry. And, and, and I wanted to give you some ideas or tools into how to know that you're angry. All right? When we're in a state of anger, so I'll just draw a column back here. When I'm in a state of anger, it's very, very different to a state of love. When I'm in a state of anger, I want to destroy things. Do you notice, not many people make a glass when they're angry, but lots of people have thrown a glass around, a broken one, when they're angry, right? <coughs> Because in our state of anger, we want to destroy. We want to actually, we have this intent to destroy. When we're in a state of love, we have an intent to do the opposite. We have an intent to create. Right? Now, when I say destroy and create, I'm not just talking about physical destruction or creation. I'm also talking about emotional destruction or creation. See, when we're in a state of anger, we want to emotionally crush others. Right? We have this feeling that we want to emotionally harm somebody. Uh, you know, and we can f you can feel it inside of yourself sometimes when it's there, can't you? Where somebody has hurt you, let's say. Somebody's done something damaging to you. What do you want to do in return? You want to do something damaging to them in return, to make them feel the pain you feel. That is an act of destruction. Every time I'm in an act of destruction, I'm in my anger. Remember, my anger covers over, so here's my anger. My anger covers over my fear, and my fear covers over my grief. Right? So, whenever I notice myself or anyone around me wanting to destroy, that's an easy way of seeing whether I'm, I or they are in a state of anger. So many people on, on the internet are saying at the moment that they love me, me personally. But at the same time, they want to destroy everything that I'm creating. So do they love me? No. If I wanted to destroy, let's say you were building a house and I didn't like the way your house looked. And so every brick you put on, I decided I was going to take it off. And as you're building your house, I come along and eventually I don't like the house. You eventually finish the house and I, get, I come in at night and wire it up with explosives and blow it up. So you come along in the morning and it's all destroyed. Do you feel that you've been loved? In that? Of course not, right? Because you're not being allowed to create what you want to create. Now, it doesn't matter whether the person's creation is actually in error or in truth. If you have the feeling you want to destroy that creation, you are the one out of harmony with love. Can you see that? So, somebody could be getting a bulldozer, and this applies to the, the sanctuary, somebody could be getting a bulldozer and knocking down every single tree in the sanctuary and the moment you get angry about it, you are now out of harmony with love and you are now in the mode of wanting to destroy. And you don't just want to destroy the trees, you want to destroy the person who destroyed the trees. Now, who's in a worse state of love now? The person who destroyed the trees or the person who wants to destroy the person who destroyed the trees? Can you see? You see, every time we're in a state of destruction, and I'm talking specifically here, soul to soul emotional destruction. Right? Every time I have a soul feeling that I want to tear down what somebody else is creating, and it doesn't matter whether what they're creating, it doesn't matter whether what they're creating is harmonious or disharmonious with love. The instant I have a feeling inside of myself 
that I want to destroy it, I am now out of harmony with love. And I'm actually in a state of anger, which is actually covering over huge fears of my grief that I have about that act. So, if somebody comes into the sanctuary and just bulldozes the entire place, right, when you got there, if you felt about it, would you feel grief or anger? Now, if you feel anger, then you're in a state of wanting to destroy and you're actually out of harmony with love. What we would want to do is feel our grief. So you'd go there to the property, look at it all getting destroyed, and you'd just sit down on the ground and just sob your heart out. That's what you would do. Does that make sense? If you're in a state of love, you would do that. When I say if you're in a state of love, that's more love than being in a state of anger. If you're in a complete state of love, when you're at one with God and somebody bulldozes the property, you won't even cry at all. Nor will you get angry and nor will you be afraid. You just won't do any of those things. Because when you're in a complete state of love where you've released all of your own emotions about all of these damaging things that occur external to yourself, you'll realise that you'll be able to create what was lost in an instant. So do you think you're going to worry about what was lost? Of course you won't. So can you see once you've become at one with God, you won't have this feeling in you of wanting to destroy. So every time you have this feeling in you of wanting to destroy, and particularly wanting to destroy something that someone else has created, then you need to look at what's going on inside of themselves emotionally. Does that make sense? And a lot of people say, oh, I love them so much, but I'm going to do whatever it takes to destroy what they're creating. Now, I've had a lot of people saying that to me recently, that they feel that whatever I'm creating is harmful to the world and they're going to spend as much as they, time as they possibly can to destroy what I'm creating. Well, that might be true, but... Why do they want to bulldoze it in the first place? Because of, their anger. because of their anger. So I'm suggesting to them that what they need to do is they need to feel their anger. And then they need to go into why they're so afraid of me. Why do they have to be afraid of somebody who's never going to hurt them? So there's something going on in there for them, you see. And in there will be a lot of grief. Now for a lot of people for the moment, for me, it's a lot of grief that their belief systems are being confronted. You see, what happens is when your belief system becomes confronted, what happens to you? You then go through this process of feeling like, I want to hold on to this belief system. Or why do we want to hold on to a belief system? Because in the end it supports us emotionally somehow. So, and, and if I get into a state of wanting to hold on to a belief system and instead be willing to destroy the other person and what they've created, then straight away I'm out of harmony with love. So the truth is that I don't want to, if I could just turn that microphone off for a sec though. The truth is that I don't want to, um, it was just that heavy breathing was doing something to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I don't want to, I, I don't want to destroy religions. A lot of people feel that's what I want, but it's not what I want. What I would like is for every single religion on the planet to actually just accept the loving truth. Now, if that happened, every single religion on the planet could exist. It would exist in different forms, of course, than what they currently exist because many of their current teachings are based on unloving actions. But I don't want to destroy the religions or the, or the organisations that created them. What I want to see is for... I want to create lo the loving truth inside of them, every single one of them. I don't want to destroy politics. I want to create the loving truth inside of it all. When, it, when that's created, everything will start coming together. Does that make sense? I don't want to destroy your faith. I want to make sure that your faith is based on truth. That's what I would like to do. Does that make sense to everyone? So if you have ever feeling, a feeling inside of you that you want to destroy somebody or something, there is actually a word for that. Whoops. There's actually a word for that. And uh, it's hate. 
right? And a lot of times we don't own up to the fact that we are in a state of hatred. And it's something that we need to learn to own up to if we really want to progress towards love. I don't want to hate anything or anyone, even those who want to hate me. I don't want to hate them. But I do want to live in love and truth. The instant that I am angry with a person who hates me, I am out of harmony with love and truth. Do you see that? And so that's something for me that I have to work through then, if that's the case. So that was just an aside because it's so important to understand that when you're angry, you're actually often in a place of destruction. All right? And it's a very damaging place to relationships and to the world, in fact, being in a place of wanting to destroy things around you. Anyway, 